Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. Today's gonna be a great day because our goat is about to have a baby. Just joking. <laughs> Why is she not about to have a baby? Because she just doesn't understand how excited we are and how much we're waiting for this. No, she just wants to take her time, enjoy the process. I literally remember having my own babies. And I was just excited to get that stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> want to be pregnant at the end but no not our goats our goats are just like let's draw it out let's just have fun let's just enjoy the whole thing don't film you run i filmed you run the other day i know and there she goes this is exciting it's always laying oh how do you know it's always laying She's in her box. oh my gosh that's a sign i've never seen him look over there before i always do well what's he doing Every time I beat you in the barn, he's looking over there. I'm just telling me there's gonna be a baby. And for a quick kitty update that we haven't done in a while, he sleeps in that bed that we put up there. He sleeps in there. It's his favorite place. Everybody survived their first night in their new stall, so that's good. Let's see if anybody laid an egg. Open the door first. That's the only bad thing is that we have to duck to go in the door. Get it? Duck? Duck? <laughs> duck to go in the door? Can you throw that water out there? I need to fill it, refill it. Ellie! She, she's looking before me! <laughs> they, she buries them. She buries them. I know, but I can't see it. I know. I found one yesterday and it was buried. It's poopy in there. <laughs> Ellie, Get out of town. <laughs> You have to really look. All right, there's no egg today. <laughs> you have to really look, Mom. <laughs> I did really look. Listen, we all want babies. We all want them. Oh, it's not you, it's you. We all want babies. They're like, give me the grain. I want the grains. Give us one baby. If we had one baby, we'd be content to wait. The truth is that today is an exciting day because Sophie is going for an MRI today. Not exciting. It is exciting. So I know most of you guys know, but just in case you missed it, Sophie had a fall on her head a year, over a year ago. Two years ago. No, two years ago in the fall. So almost a year and a half. And she had a CT scan and it showed damage to her pituitary gland. A pituitary gland is super important for hormones, hormone health, and also how it, make it, it affects how you grow and develop. We have no idea why her pituitary gland has damage to it, so she's gonna have us uh, MRI today, and we're gonna hopefully find out what is truly wrong with her pituitary gland and how we can fix it better. <laughs> this little goat is so funny. She's like a vacuum. She's like a little vacuum. We should have called her Hoover. No, I like her name. We like your name. So everything seems the same today, no changes. I do think she's had some little bit of, little tiny bits of mucus. Oh, Aww. She's like, no. Um, I see white stuff on her udder from last week and then yesterday I yeah, saw I a little bit. I tell if a horse is gonna fall. Cause they're the first time I watch. Yeah, well, unfortunately, uh, horses and goats, well, I guess it's all the same. People, goats, dogs, cats. <gasps> Her, her. She loves being scratched. I know, these guys love to be scratched. She's just standing so still. She has frosted ears too. Oh, she does have frosted ears. And a frosted nose. It's really cool. <laughs> she is looking really puffy in the back. Is her udder grown? All I ask for is babies with frosted ears. Yeah, she, all she cares about is if the baby she gets has frosted ears. If you don't know what frosted ears or, are. um, yellow with brown ears. So if you can see oh on the back of her ears, see all that white? Well, it's little tiny white dots. You can see it. Lola has to. We are just getting ready to go up to the house, but I wanted to tell you guys something about our deep bedding method. Sylvie just questioned me and said, like, what's happening with all this stuff in here? Like, when we moved, we have to clean it out? And I said, no. <laughs> She's probably excited by that. We have to clean it out in a couple of months. <laughs> so, essentially, 
The reason that you deep litter a stall in winter is because all the poop falls to the bottom and gets trapped up in the shavings that I have underneath there. Shavings is a basic layer, the bottom layer, and I have shavings as the bottom layer and it falls through and it heats up. So when the goats burrow down into the straw in winter, um, all that heat that comes up helps to keep them warm. So I keep it, you keep it dumping more stuff on top every single day when you clean it out but you leave the majority of it and then in the spring you clean all that stuff out and we have a good five six stalls that we're gonna have to clean it's just the way that it is though and we're all gonna do it it's gonna be another family get together you guys probably don't care sophie says it's just frozen pee but it seems like more than that to me and her udder is definitely growing we need to reshave them they're getting all prickly well you wanted to shave them that early well i thought they were gonna give birth earlier Give us babies. Do you understand it? We want babies. We don't want fighting. Hey, that's your mother. Don't you mess with mama when she's in the last stage of her pregnancy. Uh oh. Um, Mocha. Oh, that's her baby. That's. That is her baby. That's her brother. That's her sister. That's her baby. Oh, that's her baby. Suspicious. She's talking so much. Are we sure she's pregnant? <laughs> so Mocha looks Her like heat too, then. Mocha's looking like she's in heat. And my friend asked me yesterday, are you sure they're pregnant? Because just because a goat looks chubby, chubby goats look pregnant. But the thing is, <laughs> oh my gosh. Chubby goats don't grow an udder. Well blossom's pregnant. Unless she lost it. They're pregnant. They have to be pregnant because they have so many signs of pregnancy. Like they all suddenly grew an udder. And so you don't just suddenly grow an udder if you're not pregnant. But she, Mocha is, our our little weather here is trying to tell us that Mocha is having some hormonal changes that he is, that he likes. So, I don't know. Is it raining? So, a quick update on Sam. He still does physio two times a week. Two times a week or three times a week? What? When was it too? You oh, go, the horse laying down. My horse is laying down? <gasps> oh, my horse is laying down. Penny never lets us see her like submissive. Look at her. She's laying down. I hope she's okay. Because she doesn't do this. I always feel like if Penny slept more, she'd be a happier girl. But we do everything we can to get her to sleep like a lot at night. She has nobody to stress her out. She's all alone and happy. It's actually damp, so it makes it feel... It's what? Two horses on TikTok what? Our call king is colic season, she says. Don't say that. Why are you gonna say that? Don't. Oh. Penny. We just wanted to see you. Look at those pigeons, they're stalking us. Where are they? Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. We're being stalked. We have stalkers, you guys. I might call this video, we have stalkers. If I do, I'm not trying to be untrue or they are just staring at us. Uh -oh. Uh oh. First one to us, the blonde beauties. Mm, you're not shedding that much. Like oh my gosh. Give me a kiss. She's Storm. Like, no. I have another blanket for you, but I don't know if it's warm enough. She's like, uh, uh, we know for sure she's never laid down now because she never looks like this, ever. <laughs> Sophie and I are gonna go and road. check out. I feel like I'm being watched from everywhere. I got birds up there. Oh, I got yeah. a horse peeking over the fence here. Storm, let me clean you. 
You are a mess. It's cold. It's snowing. Jackie. Oh my goodness. I'll tell Gabby to give you a good brush. He was laying down. He always lays down. He always lays down. Storm will always. You've got white hair all over him. I know, from my coat. Oh, this is just spraying onto my glasses. And it's not even coming off. I know. Well, look at this one. I, th I think. I hope my horse is just tired. It feels so weird to be like well, all over the property. Like, but look, these guys are ripping it up. Ripping it up. I blame Storm. He gallops right there, that path. That's where he gallops every morning. Yeah. Don't come. <laughs> he's like, I'm we don't need you. <laughs> he's, he's like, like I, I he's remembering summer. He's like, oh, remember when they go through that gate to the nice warm weather and the grass? You better lock that. He does look cute. Yeah, Penny your could. Your horse. <laughs> I know. My, He'll push it. My lock horse. it, I said. <laughs> my horse will open any gate. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, you guys. Can you see our, pa our path? It looks really cool from up here. Sophie and I were contemplating taking the horses for a walk down there. Well, it's ice. But it's all ice and we can't open the gate probably. Sam said the snow they makes... They access to this area, then that area, then that area, then that area. I know, I can't wait. Storm's just watching us. There's like a I really... I we So Sophie and I want this thing for the goats so but bad. A tree embedded in it. I know, but I think we could get it out. Do you guys see it? Let's climb over. Do you want... Oh. Ow! But there's got to be a better way for this because the goats get in here no problem. Here. Use your camera. Don't die. I won't be able to help you. This is going to be like a job for spring. No, 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 no. Yeah, because look. You can just move all these branches before it gets bugs in here. Like I worry about ticks. Oh, sorry, Storm. But anyways, there's this thing. And Sophie and I want it for the goats. Like, a lot. Somebody made it for, like, a, a pool or something. It is wedged in there, though. Yeah, like a little... I don't know what it would be for. She's like, keep looking in there. See what else there's good. This is the first time any of us have been in here. Ow. Yeah, the goats come in here. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, Sophie's oh, in. You're trapped. <laughs> I can climb. It's just a fence. Oh, I found a bone. Oh, I found bones. Bones. Oh, All right, I gotta get over there. I gotta climb this fence. Oh, <laughs> oh this fence is not gonna hold me. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. This is hard. Oh. If a raccoon climbs out at me, I'm punching it. Oh. Oh. Like, look at that. Some kind of tractor thing. Look at a gate. I love that. Oh, I, th I think we threw that there. Oh, we threw that there? Uh, maybe not. But look, there's a bone there. And there's a bone like right what there. What do you the think leaves. they are? And then there's a bone right there. And that one's like really weird. Maybe this is like the graveyard. Well, this is not We found a graveyard on our farm. Oh, what do you think it is? Ew, why are you touching it? You think it's a chicken? Probably. I've never seen a chicken skull. <laughs> well, we will look up a chicken skull. We will not. <laughs> Pick up that piece. Of... I mean, that looks like a chicken bone to me. I'm this tree. For sure. I mean, bet you it's a chicken graveyard. Well, I, I can get out. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh I don't want, my hair I don't want to die. The horses are like, yes, you're entertaining me. Be careful. There's a loose screw. <laughs> It's easier. Well, I'm in the horse field already. You gotta walk all the way around. Okay. Hopefully. Ow. Ow. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that was smart. There we go. See 
was tall. I'm glad you're okay. And was like yeah. the horse. Um, she would be like the easiest pony to tame to ride. Do you think so? Yes. Well, she would probably buck. Because she she's loves just to sexy. buck. She just loves to buck for excitement. Out of excitement. But like Willow's be like nice. a more nervous horse. Yeah. And Honey's like, okay, I don't care. So that's something that we've never really talked about. How? Give me a blindfold. Willow came out of a field. She sat for 15 years and she had five babies. She's put together really well, confirmation wise. She carries the blue gene. She has blue flecks in her eyes. So she carries the blue gene and has a lot of blue eyed babies. So it made her babies desirable. I know, I want For people babies. who like buy um, registered <laughs> minis. She was never really handled before we got her. Oh, she's come a long way, but Sophie says always says that she's noticed like there are things that that restrict the things that she can do with her because she's she gets nervous about stuff. Whereas Honey is like had the best handling from the beginning. Like she's just been handled to death from the beginning, and she and she just trusts Sophie. So Sophie says like in some things. It's easier for her with honey than Willow, but Willow is still phenomenal. We notice all of them are peeing a lot today. Well, that's good. They're drinking lots of water. Look at yeah. Blossom's udder. I know. Her everything is so swollen back there. You'd think that she'd be due. And then this one here, her udder is growing so much. Lola, you look so poofy. So I'm really, we're really lucky that we have this boy because he babysits our baby goat. Hi, sweetie. And he's not always kind to her, see? But he's kind of. But she finds companionship with him. Like he will spend time with her. Whereas those ones get so annoyed at her because she's noisy, <laughs> better run, that they push her off. They're like mad at her. Do we have Sophie? No. Oh, <laughs> we are headed out to Sophie's MRI appointment now. The whole family's coming. Gabby has homework. I told her she could stay home, but she likes to go. We like to go. We're a together family. We like to spend time together. Just for a recap, this MRI appointment is to recheck Sophie's pituitary gland, get a better look at it, and also is to check her sinus. I don't know if I told you guys, but one of her sinus is completely smushed. So where she fell on her face, and she got that bump on her nose. You guys remember well, when she fell? Just fell on her face. And I'm like, she oh, fell on her face and got that bump on her nose. It somehow smushed her sinus completely closed. And you can't even tell. But it's obliterated, he said. Those were his words. So uh, it's to check her pituitary gland and to see what's going on with that sinus. <sighs> we're already lost, you guys. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> Call dad. This? Um, why do we not? There it is with a one on it. For this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a button. Oh my gosh, we suck at hospitals. Oh, look. Imaging and x ray. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 